presentation today is on Francesco Petrarch. Who is Francesco Petrarch? He is an Italian poet who was born on July 20th of 1304. He was born in Arezzo, Italy. On July 19th, 1374, he passed in Orcora, Italy. His family lived in an exile, political exile life. In 1312, they moved to Avignon with his mother and brother. There was a huge house shortage at the time, so they settled in nearby Carpentas, and that is where they began studying grammar and rhetoric. In the beginning of 1316, he started studying legal studies at the University of Montpellier. He preferred to study the classical poets. In 1320, Petrarch and his brother Gerarda went to Bologna to attend law school, and they remained there until student riots interrupted. He frequently moved between France and Italy. He finally settled in Italy by 1353. On April 6, 1327, he fell in love with a woman named Laura. Sadly, she did not love him back. They met at Easter Mass in the Church of St. Clair de Avignon. Patriarch is known for his poems from the book called the Casonier and the Rerum Vulcarium Fragmenta that contains 366 poems. The Casonier is split into two sections. The first section is devoted to Laura and life, and the second section is devoted to Laura and death. One of the poems he reads is La Sera il Velo, O Per Sol, O Per Ombra. And it reads, I have not seen you, lady. Leave off your veil and sun or shadow, since you knew the great desire in myself that all other wishes in my heart desert me. Why, I held the lovely thoughts concealed that make the mind desire death. I saw your face adorned with pity, but when love made you weary of me, the blonde hair was veiled. And loving glances gathered to themselves that which I most desire in you is taken from me. The veil so governs me that to my death and by heat and cold, the sweet light of your lovely eyes is shadowed. This is another one of Francesco Petrarch's famous poems. You who hear the sound and scattered rhymes of those sighs on which I fed my heart in my first vagrant youthfulness, when I was partly other than I am. I hope to find pity and forgiveness for all modes in which I talk and weep. Between vain hope and vain sadness in those who understand love through its trials, yet I see clearly now I have become an old tale amongst all these people, so that it often makes me ashamed of myself. And shame is the fruit of my vanities and remorse, and the clearest knowledge of how the world's delight is a, be a brief dream. Petrarch's impact during the Renaissance. Francesco Petrarch is responsible for building the foundation of poetry during the Renaissance. He popularized vernacular poetry since he wrote his poems in his original language of Italian and the more common poetry language of Latin. When he wrote in Italian, he used the Tuscan dialect. Shortly after this, the Tuscan dialect was then the standard dialect in Italy. Petrarch also perfected the sonnet and mastered the poetry meter known as the iambic pentameter. This allowed Petrarch to write more lyrical poetry that was more expressive. A certain poet named William Shakespeare then built off of Francesco's sonnets and his iambic pentameter. Francesco Petrarch is seen as the father of the idea of humanism since he had the ability to polarize the classical world with it, the world and its studies of literature. He was also able to find some older Greek manuscripts, which he then translated into Latin so others can study them. Petrarch also created new literary devices, with the, well -known, with the most well-known device being the extended metaphor. Francesco's impact on the Renaissance allowed him to become a key figure in the Renaissance. Many argue that Petrarch invented a portion of the Renaissance and will be remembered and studied for years to come. His poems we use as the examples are from the Conazera. When writing his poetry, he used hendic syllables, which are verses containing 11 syllables, and septenaries, which are 7 syllables. Conazera means song. The Conazera was a story of a mature man who was confused with his feelings that he has pushed away since his youth. 
Those feelings are his love for Laura. He was hoping his poems would meet sympathy and compassion. He wants to make readers aware of those feelings so they don't make the same mistake. The sonnets are of him looking at his feelings of love, analyzing from years after. This book tells his rejected love, unfulfilled hopes, but the passion doesn't come over the surface. In 1341, he was invited into Rome and was crowned as Poet Laureate, only second poet to be honored in this way since the fall of the empire. His liter literacy forms such as the sonnet and autobiography persuaded many writers to adopt a more personal style. Patriarch was also, if not, the father of humanism, certainly one of its leading lights. For example, his works and scholarship did much to encourage an appreciation of the Greco-Roman civilization. This was radical as it helped to counter the stifling influence of the church and pap papacy. Showed me the right road to climb to heaven with glorious steps. Turning to the highest sun has shut my light and her terrestrial prison beneath a little stone. So I have become a wild creature, lonely and weary, with wandering feet, carrying a heavy heart and a wet downcast eyes. Through the world, a mountainous desert to me, so I go searching again for every place I saw her, and only you, who afflict me, love, come with me and show me the way. I do not find her, yet I always see her sacred footsteps on the heavenly path, far from Lake Avernus and Steins.